What I'd like to talk about is what architects can do to get started with BIM. The way I recommend you get started is with Little BIM. And Little BIM is, I think for an architect, all about using a 3D BIM model for creating working drawings. So that's where I recommend you start. So use the 3D BIM model for more accurate and efficient CDs or working drawings. Then once you've mastered that within your firm, the next thing you can start working on is using a 3D model for, for better, better quality, more, more precise presentations, renderings, animations, etc., etc., and really start mastering that side of the architectural process using a 3D model. And one idea that, that I'd like to put forward is the idea of, of creating what I would call virtual reality presentation theaters that you can use, set your clients down, nice, soft, soft, comfortable sofa, hand them a cappuccino, have some music playing in the background, and guide them rather like a tour guide would through their project virtually. What happens then is they start feeling comfortable with the project, they start projecting themselves into the project, they feel like they're living or working in the project, and they emotionally start owning the project. So as a presentation technique, it's an incredible way to sell your ideas to your clients. The next thing that architects, I feel, could, could do to take advantage of the BIM process is to use the BIM model for energy analysis, especially during the schematic design phase where energy analysis is the most important. There's a program, or I should say a service, called uh, Green Building Studio that you can take advantage of where you can take your 3D model, upload it, goes to the the Green Building Studio file server kicks you back a report within minutes and you can take that report and compare that scheme with another scheme. So it gives you the opportunity to compare multiple schemes, multiple solutions for design on a particular place, on a particular site, and by comparing schemes you can see the whole building energy analysis and how that building is going to be, how, how energy is going to be uh, utilized during um, the, the, the actual life cycle of that building. So that gives you tools to make key energy decisions during schematic design where those design decisions are the most impacting and the most important. The next thing that architects can do is start doing structural, mechanical, electrical, plumbing coordination with a consultant during the schematic design phase. But doing that in 3D rather than a traditional 2D flatland process. So more and more structural engineers, more and more mechanical plum and, and plumbing contractors are starting to use 3D and are, are, are able to generate a 3D model. Well, if we can coordinate all of those models together during the design phase, then we have the possibility of a building that's truly going to work when the contractor starts building it out in the field. Speaking of contractors, to be able to provide a more viable 3D model for the contractor is going to be important in the future because contractors want a 3D model too. If an architect doesn't provide it, then they're going to have to go to a third party to get this model constructed because they want to do further MEP coordination they want to create uh, 3D models for specific aspects of, of how the building is, is constructed. We call this the constructability model. For example, I'm working with a large contractor right now that wants to be able to model to the nth degree certain areas of the building where there's a possibility for a lot of leaks and, and water intrusion. In fact, this, this contractor has a, a consultant. That, that all that person does is go around from project to project look at the the details to make sure that wherever there's a an interface between different materials or there's potential for leaks around doors and windows that that the detail that's provided is going to indeed work for 10, 20, 30 years down the road and if it's not that consultant is going to is going to tell the contractor you've got to do this and this in order to make that detail essentially waterproof because water intrusion is one of the big generators of lawsuits for contractors so in order to visualize in, in, in 3D details how different materials come together is very important to, to, the, to the large contractors. So they want to be able to model that or have, have models generated to help them visualize those conditions. There's also a trend toward what, what uh, has been called design build. Rather than design bid build, which is a more traditional process, design build or design assist is when the the builder gets involved early in the process. And what this is becoming known as is the integrated project delivery method. 
And the American Institute of Architects, the AIA, if you go to AIA.org, you will notice that, that they are providing contracts now based on this new design process, the integrated project delivery process. So there's going to be a trend toward getting contractors involved early in the game as part of the design team. And lastly, you might want to consider what I call virtual shredding. Onuma Inc., Kimono Onuma, uh, is the pioneer in this area. And what he's, what he's been doing is what he calls BIM storms all over the world. And BIM storms are intense planning systems, rather like traditional brainstorming and traditional shredding, only it's done online via web browsers and people collaborating together no matter where they are in the world to intensely plan projects. So in projects where there's a lot of shredding going on like schools and public buildings, to be able to do that virtually, especially now with the price of energy being so high, this is a way to, uh, to do our work take advantage of digital tools and not have to travel so much. So from the comfort of our own offices, we can participate in, in charrettes right now in 3D. So to summarize, the way an architect gets started in this process is start with little BIM, and little BIM to me is getting started with using the BIM model for the production, the more efficient and, and accurate production of 2D working drawings. Then from there, move to presentations, marketing pieces, virtual reality theaters for presenting you to, uh, in 3D your projects to your clients. Then consider energy analysis during schemat schematic design phase. Get involved with 3D in terms of MEP and structural coordination with your consultants early in the game during schematic design. Very important uh, trend that's happening in the industry. You should take advantage of that. To be able to provide a, a more viable and constructible 3D model to your contractor is going to become more and more important. And the, the tendency toward getting the contractor early in the game is going to be more important. And finally, the virtual shredding. These are all possibilities we have that are working right now that more and more architects are taking advantage of, and we'd like to see you take advantage of those capabilities as well.